My name is Connie Viney and welcome to my studio where I make your cake dreams come true. At Connie Viney Cakes, it's my number one goal to create the perfect sugary centerpiece for your special event. Whether it's a wedding, birthday party or corporate occasion, I promise to create a cake sculpture that is truly unforgettable. The last couple of months have been insanely busy for Connie Viney Cakes and in this short video, I'm going to give you an insight into some of the things I've been up to. In September, I exhibited an eight feet tall walk-in wedding cake at the National Wedding Show in Earls Court, London. My aim was to play on the theatricality of cutting into a cake at a wedding. Rather than using a traditional silver knife, I thought it would be a cool idea to actually open up a giant wedding cake sculpture and walk inside it. Once inside, you could pick up your own miniature luxury cake from the velvet compartments. The entire sculpture was carved out of icing, so it smelled amazing for visitors when they walked inside it. The cake was such a success at the National Wedding Show, Connie Viney Cakes was then invited to display the sculpture at the Experimental Food Society exhibition at the Truman Brewery in London. Aside from showing off the walk-in wedding cake, this was a chance for me to mingle with the country's most famous culinary creatives, all passionate about pushing the boundaries in the world of food. In October, the world witnessed the second birthday of Fifi Le Fou, a circus-inspired curiosity shop situated in the heart of London. The shop's founder, Fee Eastwood, got in touch with Connie Viney Cakes and asked if I would make a cake sculpture that reflects the atmosphere of the shop. Fun, magical, colourful and eccentric. I met up with Fee to discuss her ideas in greater depth and together we came up with a design. A four-tiered, multicoloured, circus-themed cake with a mechanical, moving element at the top. Also, the birthday party was to be held at the famous Mexican restaurant, Mezcal Cantina, so we made sure to incorporate some Day of the Dead imagery as well. Making the cake is my favourite part of the whole process. It's my time to really let go, turn my music up loud and get my creative juices flowing. Fifi Le Fou's cake was particularly special because it incorporated all the things central to Connie Viney cakes. Colour, imagination, spectacle and of course delicious cake. The cake went down really well at the party and Fee loved it. November was the month of the BBC Winter Good Food Show and Connie Viney Cakes was asked to create a life-size gingerbread house. This was undoubtedly one of the most challenging projects I have ever taken on, but also one of the most exciting. Overall, it took me one month to build, from collecting the gingerbread ingredients, baking the gingerbread bricks in a giant oven and building the actual gingerbread house in my studio. I also made 500 gingerbread men, which I decorated and handed out to visitors at the BBC Good Food Show. The experience of making the house was amazing. I had the opportunity to speak to tons of interesting people and even a few celebrities, all of whom were extremely complimentary about the project. The final cake project of the year was for Tosca's Sweet 16 birthday party at the Dorchester Hotel in London. I made an 8 feet tall pink cake which featured an icing sculpture of Tosca and her two favourite childhood teddy bears. It was important for me to create a cake that would reflect Tosca's bubbly personality as well as complement the spectacular interior of the Dorchester. Fortunately, I managed to achieve both. At Connie Viney Cakes, it's important for the creations to be more than just edible sculptures. They are multi-sensory experiences. They are conversation starters. They create a buzz. And most importantly, they're guaranteed to bring your special event to life. 